Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today I'm in Grand Theft Auto Online with my friends Twingo and NPC, and we're doing a drag race with all three of the purchasable cop cars in the game, being the Vapid Stanier LE Cruiser on the left being driven by Twingo, the Bravado Gauntlet Interceptor being driven by me, and on the right we have NPC driving the unmarked Cruiser. We're going to do a comparison at all upgrade levels, so stock, then with engine, then with engine and transmission, then with engine, transmission, and turbo. Uh, we're going to do a drag race on the airport. We're also going to do an L-shaped drag race, and we're also going to do a drag race in Sandy Shores to get the higher top speeds uh, that cars seem to have out there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right, so all the cars are stock. Um, gentlemen, are you ready to begin the drag race? Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to throw the grenade. Let's uh, go when it blows up. Wow! Oh, both of you guys get yeah. a you guys get a little bit of a better launch, but uh, yeah, I, I, as expected, the uh, gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's is, huge. Faster. It's it's hugely faster. That is, yeah, that's insane. Uh, what does the what's the speed difference looking like between the two of you back there? His nose is at my rear door right now. Okay. Okay. Pretty so, close. so the yeah. LE, the LE Cruiser is a little bit quicker. Yes. So far, it seems like. Seems that way. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go and put the engine upgrade on all the cars and see how much of a difference that makes between the three of them. All right. Here we are. We have the engine upgrades on all three of the vehicles. Let's uh, let's run it back and see how much of a difference the engine upgrade makes. I'm sure that the gauntlet is still probably going to win. I just have a feeling that that's going to be the key. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Okay. Well, that's... Oh, wow. uh, that's awesome. Oh, this engine affected wow. me very much. Oh, did it oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are a lot closer than the unmarked cruiser. Oh, yes. It's Way closer. On, man. That's it's crazy. Oh, okay. Slow. So with with full upgrades, the LE cruiser is is actually quite quite quick. Well, not. I mean, this thing is just full stupidly. Engine. This thing is stupidly fast. But that thing does seem like it. Uh, it was quite a bit more competitive this time. Yeah, the unmarked cruiser, not, not so much. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's a little on the slower side, that's for sure. Um, okay, well, let's go put transmissions on all the cars and then we'll uh, we'll test it once more. Okay, so now we have engine and transmission upgrades on all three of the cars fully applied. So uh, let's see what happens here. Do we have any predictions, gentlemen? Uh, oh, I, I think, think I'm, I'm gonna, gonna win, win this one. <laughs> okay, nice. I have high hopes. Nice. <laughs> Biggest cope of all time. Transmission, it can affect uh, different cars. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. there might be hope for me still. You never the, know. You, you are significantly closer to me, I, I will am say. much closer this time, yes. Yeah. So is the undercover cop this time. It is, yeah. It is a little bit quicker, but you're still you're still leading pretty significantly, it seems like. Nice. Nice. Well, that's, that's, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Ouch. Damn. Um, okay, well, we got we got one more upgrade to do. Let's do the turbo. You know that I'm sure that the turbo is going to make the unmarked cruiser just one of the fastest vehicles of all time. So we'll see how that does. <laughs> <laughs> so man. We'll see. We'll see uh, how it affects it. All right, we have engine, transmission, and turbo on all three vehicles now. Um, I'm actually going to give I'm going to give you guys a, a car length here. Maybe actually, you know, we'll do that after. Let's just see it. Let's just see it fairly, and then uh, I'll see how much how much I have to give you guys to be able to uh, make this a little bit more fair. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Oh boy. Quite a bit, I feel. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, maybe I'll take off the engine and, uh, or maybe I'll take off the transmission and the turbo, and we'll see how that uh, how that goes for the next race. But uh, yeah, be interesting. So far, yeah, um, yeah, it's definitely yeah. This thing is definitely faster. Nice. There's not that huge of a difference between you guys' the cars, actually. It's. Not a whole lot once they're fully upgraded, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that over over distance though, the LE Cruiser definitely definitely seems to gain a lot more than uh, than the unmarked Cruiser. Okay, well I'm gonna go take off the turbo and transmission, I think, and then we'll uh, we'll do another race here. Alrighty, so I have just an engine upgrade. Um, these guys both have transmission and turbo and engine still applied to their cars. We're gonna see if this makes any sort of a difference or enough of a difference to give them a bit of a fighting chance. Um, are you ready, gentlemen? 
ready. Alrighty, here we go. Grenade is thrown. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Definitely. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Nice. For, yep. Nice. I'm ashamed you know? to even own this car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that this thing exists, that thing really seems uh, pointless. Yeah. Like that, you that's can just only for they can undercover LE Cruiser. Exactly. Yeah, or an undercover one of right. these. An undercover, too. yeah, gauntlet. Yeah. <laughs> this sucks, bro. This is a waste yeah, of money. Yeah, the Unmarked Cruiser, I think, is, is actually pretty much a complete waste. Like, if you want a four-door cop car, buy an LE Cruiser and make it all the same color. Yes. And just remove everything from it, honestly. Like, I don't know. Um, okay, well, I'm curious to do an L-shaped drag, and I think I'm going to go the lowest engine level that I can go, and we'll see if that makes enough of a difference mm, for you okay. guys. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so now we're doing an L-shaped drag. We're going to start right here. We're going to go down here and then turn right at this point here, and then the first to the end of this side of the drag strip is going to win. So uh, Twinger's got the grenade. He's going to throw it. Um, I have engine level one on this vehicle now. Oh, I totally jumped Ooh, that. I totally jumped cheater. that. I, I, I right. slowed down off the start to make oh. up for it. Now, with engine level one, they are a lot more evenly matched. I'm actually barely passing the LE Cruiser. Yeah, wow. The unmarked Cruiser still definitely, yeah, <laughs> still, still just doing awesome. Um, doing his thing. Yeah. Hey, for effort. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're trying. These two are actually very close when this thing's at engine level. Quite a one, bit, though. yeah. Yeah, like actually, I mean, to be fair, all three of them are very close in comparison to how it was before. So that's uh, that's cool. But yeah, when they're all fully upgraded, it's really not a uh, it's really not a contest at all. The the gauntlet interceptor is just so much faster. Um, okay, well, let's do one final test. Let's see if the uh, the different top speeds in Sandy Shores make enough of a difference for the uh, unmarked cruiser to just absolutely dominate us. Um, let's let's head over there. All right, so I've reapplied my upgrades onto the vehicle. We're starting here at uh, this end of this big long road that goes through Sandy Shores that's relatively straight. First one to get onto the bridge right before the trailer park uh, is going to be the winner of this race. So let's go ahead and line up after the Audi R8 here, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna Should get rid of lights on. We could, we totally could. I'm gonna throw the grenade. Here we go. Everyone, stop. In yeah, stop. Tracks. Stop right there, buddy. Yep, there we go. All right, nice, nice. Okay, well, I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um. Mr. Unco undercover's pulling up a bit more. Is it really is nice? Nice, nice. You like it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you this time, Twingo. <laughs> oh yeah. I think I might get harmed on this time too. Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna Looking happen. Good. I think it's gonna happen. These are so cool. I'm really glad that they did add these into the game. I actually, it's about love time. Well. Eleven years. Yeah, it's just it's we very it's enough. very late. It's just very late is the problem. Um, oh man. Yeah. Damn, maybe man. good news for GTA Six. We'll have yeah, them right away. Maybe, maybe That's what I'm thinking. Will. Yeah, maybe we will. That would be very maybe. cool. I heard that that people saw the Gauntlet Interceptor in the trailers. Yes. I think maybe yeah, it's a yes. one on the asset. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to be. Uh, and across the bridge. Ooh. Yep. Well, and the LE Cruiser second, and the Unmarked Cruiser third, as uh, as for every other race that we've done with it. Okay. Even a little closer though. I didn't feel yeah, like I was, yeah, you, I was far you, behind. Yeah, you were definitely uh, pretty pretty close to Twingo actually. So that's that's good stuff. Um, well, there you have it, guys. The Gauntlet Interceptor, as far as we're concerned, I think is probably the one you're going to want. Unless you want four doors, then I would probably go with the LE Cruiser. But uh, yeah, do do with it. Uh, do with this information what you will for sure. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Mm. Dislike if you don't, of course. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, go check out NPC and Twingo's channels. We'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.